Sup everyone, welcome back to War 11. We're against uh, Hellfire Club Armageddon today. Um, these are some good guys. I've got some good mates here who I've played with in the past, so shout out to them. Um, in the meantime, we're going with Cassie, Jabari and Magneto today. I've got a bit of a smaller war. I've got only four fights, um, which is absolutely fine. I was slightly more of a backup role today with a couple of only two path fights and a couple of minis. So we're going with Cersei, first fight of path nine. Uh, and then I'm taking Chavez there on path four. And then we're going for future Ant-Man and Mysterio. I've not taken Mysterio this season yet with this meta. He's been quite... Seems to be one of the more frightening defenders for everyone, but uh, I think Jabari should be good for him, as we might see. So coming up to Cersei first, it's quite funny because I took her last war. Going with the same tactic as previously, I'm deliberately under-boosting to not... so as that I don't hit her too hard and risk triggering glancing. So I'm going with just a 15%. Uh, health boost and trusting in Cassie's tankness. The only thing I need to be careful of is make sure I get some power stings on first and get her to the corner without her trying to throw a heavy or triggering her glance because that's still a risk through the fight. Um, it's a slightly more simple node. It's, obviously it's a different node to previous where it was SP2 focused. Uh, this time it's power efficiency 1 which plays into my hand. It's power efficiency, sorry, so specials cost 50% less, which plays into my hands because she's going to throw more and just kill herself with stings. I just need to keep my rhythm up. Um, I do mess up one dex at the end, as you'll see. Uh, there we go, but the f she's already down to 7% health and there's no way she's going to kill me from then. So the fight is done. Nice and simple start. And there we go. Uh, coming up to day two, everything else is pretty much done except for... Uh, me and Whiskers by this point, who's just freed me up, and I can get to Chavez. Um, studying the node, obviously it's three debuffs on me and she goes unblockable, but I'll have the hill block on me, and then every 10 seconds she's going to have a power sting on me. I probably didn't need to bother using this invulnerability boost, but the fight was quick enough and I used it for the next fight anyway. Um, better to be safe than sorry. Um, as long as I kept on top of my combos, which I also didn't really need to worry about, she wasn't really going to place too many debuffs on me. And Cassie, as the playstyle we're used to now, doesn't need to worry about blocking. Anyway, so unblockable, if it gets to that, isn't going to be an issue. It's also interesting to see if, uh, with the tactic, the power sting damage gets tanked or not. I've not actually noticed... Um, I'm also keeping just keeping an eye on it now because I've not watched it back yet oh there we go I did actually take some power sting damage but it was so minimal um, I don't know if that plays down to inequity or whatever but again with 105k health it's really not going to cause me too many problems plus this is my last Cassie fight anyway so yeah it's all good And she's done. So we move on to a future Ant-Man here. I was slightly worried here. I always find myself a bit more worried about Magneto fights than I should be. Um, I kind of wanted to rush to it so as to not waste that invulnerability boost. I'm running pretty low and I know it's not going to last for the Mysterio fight. So I'm going to have to pop another. Yeah, I shouldn't have wasted one on Chavez. But it's uh, I'd be blushing if I made made some silly mistakes there. So there's Power Snack here. Um, I'm also going to get a power sting on me. I've got max um, pacify on to get that ability accuracy to zero while stunned. Um, I made this mistake right at the start of triggering my heavy with unstoppable before magnetized had set in. So he immediately gained a bar of power. It's fine. I'm just making sure not to dex anything um, on purpose at least during this fight. Just block everything. Um, block damage is going to be pretty much zero anyway and again I didn't really haven't watched it back yet since doing this um, but I'm also keeping an eye on if he's gaining prowesses which is not because I uh, with three of those his special attacks would be unblockable so it's just parry heavy I didn't want to charge heavy for too long um, to try and speed things up a bit in case it triggered power snack 
Um, I did go for the gamble right at the end there, which was which was fine. So there we go. One more. Charge the SP3. It's not going to quite kill him, but the bleeds, the residual bleeds afterwards will finish him off. Yeah, a 14 hit fight. Not sure what I was worried about, but I'd rather be worried and over panic than be too relaxed and die. Coming up to the final fight, um, I had my game plan here for Mysterio after popping another invulnerability boost. Um, I'd be able to get to the hunt quickly because of purifying all the hazard shift damage, get a couple of SP1s and then get to the hunt which will allow me to counter the miss. As long as I've got a cleanse charge ready, um, I'll also purify the power drain debuff which he puts on me after special 2. So I knew it's probably not going to be quite so clean, but we'll see how we go. I think I was more worried here just because it's a new a new fight for me. But we've seen Jabari kill this node a few times now this season. Still don't understand why they made that tactic, but I'm definitely not complaining. So the special, the heavy's quite easy to bait. He's normally quite generous with the heavies. I know he's got quite crappy AI, so I did want to still be careful. The damage reflected is also pretty much tanked. I think I took a little bit of it there. And now we're in the hunt, um, so I'm ready to push him to a special two. Made use of my counter punch charges there, although I did a really stupid thing here and decided it'd be a good idea to throw my heavy and double the bleeds, which then ended the hunt, so now I can't counter miss, so I just needed to stay away a little bit. It's no big deal, but yeah, just annoying because the fight could probably be over by now. But it's all good, the fight went well. I took a couple of hits anyway, had an indestructible, as we know. And yeah, we cleaned the fight out relatively well. I'm pleased with that. Special two just to finish off. And he's done. And that's my war. We are, yeah, there's a couple more fights in our battle group left to go. And um, yeah, it's been a good one. Um, Armageddon did pretty well. Uh, one all so far in the BG. And then we're currently 4-1 up. And, and hope to close out for a... Uh, a good win so ggs to those guys uh shout outs to my old buddies at armageddon and we'll see you soon for the final chapter of the season bye